And Allah tells us about Dhul Qarnayn describing his amount of kingdom, saying that you know, in a very allegorical, beautiful way of language in the Quran, saying that Dhul Qarnayn, he reached, he reached a very far distance in land. He used to go around the whole world to see who is being oppressed, who is doing good to reward them, bringing justice between people. He used to physically go out with his army like that, looking everywhere as far as he can. That's what he spent his life in, traveling the world and applying justice and worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala everywhere he went. So Allah describes one of his journeys, one of his journeys by saying that he went one time to establish justice. And when he reached, Allah says in the Quran, When he reached the place of the setting of the sun, he found it setting in a murky pond or in a murky water. What does this mean? It means, now there are non-Muslims out there who try to use this against us. They say, what's this Quran talking about science? How can a sun set inside of water when we know that the earth rotates around the sun? And how can a man reach the setting of the sun? The sun doesn't set, the earth rotates around. You can't really reach the sun. There's no such thing. What these miserable people don't understand is the language of the Quran. Okay? They can't come and teach us about the Quran now. The Arabs at the time of the Prophet ﷺ understood it better than these miserable people. And if there was any problem with it, they would have beaten them to find a fault in the Qur'an. Trust you me. So these people come and use half suck twisty English and they try to uh, you know, explain the Qur'an through their miserable ways. The Qur'an here is talking allegorically because the Qur'an addresses human beings. And when you address human beings and especially the whole world, it has to address them in a way where everybody could understand simple language. Allah is saying allegorically in a beautiful speech that in two things. He reached a place where it looks like the sun is setting. It looks like that. It's like saying, oh, the sun set behind the mountain, behind the hill. If you go behind the hill, will you find the sun? No. We say it's set behind the sun, behind the mountain. Everybody uses that language. Or you say, oh, look at that rainbow. It starts from there and ends there. But it doesn't really end there. It doesn't even come on earth. So it's what the eye sees. Allah says, when he reached where it seemed like the sun was setting. In other words, Allah is telling us, Yudul Qarnayn reached a very, very far end of the world. He said he found it setting in a murky pond, meaning it looked like as if it was setting inside the ocean. And it looked murky to him. Because when the sun is setting, you could see a very strange appearance on the surface of the ocean. Allah called it Hami'ah. Murky or a strange appearance or a, a foggy appearance. He found the sun setting there, meaning there was no more land beyond where he reached. Meaning Dhul Qarnayn reached the farthest land where nobody could reach even further. There was no more civilization after there. That's what that verse is talking about. He said he found people there. 